Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhone Captain. Today we're going to be talking about battery life on iOS 7. There's been a lot of talk about it, a lot of buzz online. So I have gone through iOS 7 and tried to come up with several different things you can do to improve your battery life. Uh, everything that I saw that might could save it, I've added it to this list here, this... this uh, article on iPhoneCaptain.com. If you want to check it out, you can too, but we're going to go over it right here. The first thing you know, if you if you play games all day or surf the internet all day, there's not really a whole lot you can do besides get a battery case or just hook your device to the wall outlet as you're doing it. If you know you're going to be on it for a great extended period of time and you have electric close by, I would recommend plugging up into the wall or at minimum, getting something like a Mo, uh, Mofi juice pack. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. One of the first things you should know right off, right off the bat you can do on iOS 7 is your, your apps refresh in the background. And you can turn it, disable it, and, and enable that under general. So you can see right here, general background app refresh. Just turn that off. Also, if you're not using AirDrop, why have it on? Uh, turn it off as well. And another thing here that was big when iOS 7 come through was automatic automatic downloads. That's very convenient, you know, to have your apps updated, but it is requiring your battery to... Uh, it, it, first of all, it's making your phone work in the background to see which apps need updated, and it's taking battery power for that. Once it finds the update needed, then it goes ahead and updates it. That creates uh, more battery power loss. So, you know, that's going to be left up to you. Automatic downloads if you want to leave that on or not. Brightness, that's pretty obvious. I would say set it as low as you can and read it without straining and let it go with that. Uh, I don't recommend the auto brightness. I feel like that would drain your battery. There's really no good way to look at that in my opinion, but that is an opinion. Next is push notifications for alerts, uh, emails, anything of that. I would try to do it on an app basis if I was going to, uh, well, unfortunately, I jumped the gun. You can't do that here. Uh, I would set it up to at least an hour if I were going to do the email. And as far as the push notifications on the alerts, um, that's going to be left up to you whether or not you think you need that. And at, at the very minimum, you could turn the sound off. That would save some some uh, some battery power. And you got your location services. You can turn those on and off. And here's something that was added in iOS 7 is is motion. You know, you got those dynamic wallpapers and that parallax effect on your icons. All of that requires extra battery, guys. So keep that in mind when you're using it. I say if you're having battery problems, you're running short throughout the day, I would turn this extra stuff off. Disable Siri when you raise to speak. Really, that's not necessary, guys. That's something you don't really need on. So I would turn it off. Uh, turn the spotlight off. It prevents indexing right here. You can see uh, when, you, when you pull that drop down on the spotlight, it has to index all that. And you got, if you on an LTE uh, cellular network, I would say you need to turn that off just simply because it takes more battery power to run that. Auto lock, another obvious one. Uh, that's going to be left up to you, you know. However, I would play around with these and see how it affected my battery life. And last but not least, the one that we're sharing here is limit the ad tracking for your advertising. I would just turn that off. Uh, I don't think it's going to matter what ads you see on the iPhone anyway. So there's several good tips for increasing your battery life. I hope you enjoyed these. Please share these on Facebook and Twitter. And most of all, guys, if you're not yet a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button before you leave. It really helps us out here. We're trying to increase our viewers and our subscriber base. Help us do that. Tell all your friends that if they need any information about the iPhone or anything iOS related, they can get it here. If we don't have it, 
All you gotta do is send us a question. Uh, you can use our contact form on iPhoneCaptain.com or just shoot it through one of the videos. We will answer your questions the best we can. And guys, we'll see you next time and keep coming back.